Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you could play a song called Under My Bed by Miko. And we'll talk about where we're going to move this for key in a moment, because we're going to end up capoing on 4th fret for this song. But we're going to start on a D major chord, and when we play D major, first finger is going to go to the G string on the 2nd fret, 2nd finger on the high E on the 2nd fret, and 3rd finger on the B string on the 3rd fret. And if you strum just the, D, the top 4 strings, kind of the skinny 4 strings, that'll get you a clear sound with that, and that's called D major. And then from the D major, we're going to go into an E minor chord. And the way you play E minor, first finger is going to go to the A string on the second fret. Second finger is going to go to the D string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an E minor chord. And it sounds really, really sad. And then from the E minor, we're going to be going to a G major chord. And the way you play G major, first finger is going to go to the A string on the second fret. Or stay on the A string, second fret. Second finger is going to go to the low E on the third fret. And third finger is going to go to the high E on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord. It sounds really, really happy. And then from the G major, we're going to go back to the D major chord. And that's basically our chord pattern through the entire song is D, E minor, E minor, G, D. But a lot of times with a song like this, to make it more interesting, I like adding something called a strum pattern. And one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So we took the D and just tried that a lot. You have down, down, up. that through our chord progression we have D down up up down E minor down down up up down G down down up up down D down down up up down D down down up up down E minor down down up up down G down down up up down D down down up up down up now the weird thing is to play along with Miko Instead of starting on a D major chord, she's actually starting on an F sharp uh, major chord. So to play along with the recording, what you want to do is take a capo, and if you put the capo on 4th fret, then now your D major is really an F sharp major, and your E minor is really a G sharp minor, and your G major is really a B major. So if we try that, that, that with our strum pattern, we have kind of our intro with that D down, up, up, down, E minor, down. But there are a couple places where she'll do kind of a down and kind of kill the strings. So you may want to practice that, just kind of doing a down and then kind of taking the right hand and kind of killing it. Kind of even, you can just try that on all your chords, just kind of try that, <laughs> just as an idea. Because you may want to use that as kind of an accent. But a lot of times with a, with a song like this though too, something else you could kind of add to kind of simulate playing with a bass player is bass notes. And on the first down of the down, down, up, up, down, you could throw in a bass note for each chord and kind of, kind of simulate that. So on your D chord, you could do a D string for your bass, and then keep your down, up, up, down, up. So D major would have a D string for your bass note. And then on the E minor, you'd have the low E string for your bass. So you got E minor, low bass, down, up, up, down, E minor, low bass, down, up, up, down. And on the G major, you'd have the low E string for your bass. G so low E bass, down, up, up, down, G low E bass, down, up, up, down, up. So we tried that through our chord pattern. We have D with a D bass, down, up. strumming through the tune like Miko kind of sounds like she's working out with something called a 16th note strum pattern instead of an 8th note pattern and what I mean by that is if you're tapping your foot to the beat the down down up up down kind of divides that into two parts one two one two one two one two and that's called an 8th note 
What a sixteenth note is, is where you divide that into four parts. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And what it sounds like she's doing is one of my favorite sixteenth note strum patterns, which is a long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. And what I mean by that is like you take the D and do it down for four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's what she's doing on the first beat. And then on the second beat, she's doing a down on one, down on three, up on four. So then one, two, three, four, down. Kind of a up on two, down on three. So you've got one, two, three, four, one, up, down, 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 one, up, down. And then on the last beat, it's kind of a down, up, down, up, like on each chord. So it's right along with the, this one, two, three, four. So we got down, up, down, up, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So all together, you got long. Try that too. We got D with the bass, bass down, down, up, up, bass down, up, down, 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 bass down, 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 Something else you may want to play around with with, with with kind of that strum pattern is kind of taking the flat of your right hand and if you put it flat down on top of the saddle you can kind of get a muted quality out of the, the, the chords so that might be kind of cool if you want to kind of if you're covering it and you're kind of looking for something to kind of contrast and that's called right hand muting or palm muting even though you're not really using the palm to do it <laughs> so you may want to play around with just kind of doing muting with that same kind of pattern too so that might be kind of cool too because you can kind of lay it back your accents too to kind of mix it up that way but that's the basics of how, how you can strum through under my bed by miko so good luck <laughs>